Hello guys, here is JNM again with the next video about the crease pencil for Blender 2.79. I will show you how to create a simple bouncing ball animation with, and that's the interesting part, interpolation between the keyframes for smooth animations. So start here with the layout that we created in the previous tutorial. And then I go to the crease pencil colors and set the fill to a red tone. Okay. I will use the ink brush and also enable the sensitivity for the strength because I'm going to use my tablet. Then I press the D key and draw in a circle. Okay, I think we will go with that. <laughs> it's not the best circle, but anyway. Then I press tab and choose edit strokes. Then press A to select all the points. And move the ball to this initial location at frame number 0 and then I select frame number 8. Press G and bring the ball here to the bottom. And then I select frame number 4 and move the ball between these two onion skin shapes. The green onion skin defines the position at the keyframe before the current frame and the blue one is the frame after the current one. And these are the first keyframes of my animation. Okay, here is something very important to make the animation look more natural and realistic. I move to frame number 9 and press S and then the set key and scale the ball at this position to make it look like bouncing at the bottom. At the next frame I scale it back to its original size and move it further to the right. Well then these are the basic steps for creating the main keyframes for the animation. I speed up the video here a little bit till we come to adding interpolations between these keyframes. Okay, now I move the cursor between the first two keyframes and then I open the interpolation tab and press sequence and whenever I do this between two keyframes, a sequence of keyframes is added in between and the animation will look smoother. I will add these sequences now for all the keyframes that we added. And when I play this animation now by pressing Alt and A key, you can see that this looks much more clean and smooth. I mean it's not a perfect animation, it's just for demonstration, but I think you get the idea. Now if you like, you can add a new layer. The first one are called Ball. And then add a new one and call this background. Then I move to the colors and add a new color for the background and call this gray. Turn the fill to gray and then I press the D key with this background layer activated and draw in something like that. And then I press Alt A again, start this animation and it's not bad for 3 minutes of work. So guys, I hope you find this tutorial interesting and useful and if you do, please subscribe to my channel and consider supporting me on my Patreon to help me keep my channel going. Thanks for watching this and see you soon.